2007, I had my daughter, and that winter, um, she was born in August, and that winter I slipped and fell on the ice. Um, so I went to the doctor, and I was 25, and the doctor was prescribing me 100 Percocets a month. Then she just cut me off, and I started experiencing withdrawals. And so a friend of mine said, try this, and it was an oxy cotton, and um, I just got addicted to it because of the doctors. And I went to my parents um, two years later, July 2000, well, it's three years later, July 2010, and I told them my problem. And they brought me back to that same doctor and she prescribed me Oxy-80s to get off of them. <laughs> me and my boyfriend had my daughter and I was the only one working, so I went through my boyfriend and he found the people and we bought them and I didn't take them to get high, I took them so I could function and act normal. I started lying to everybody, um, stealing, <laughs> Um, I forged checks on my mom's checking account. <laughs> Stuff I would never do. And I ruined the relationships <laughs> that I have with my family. My dad told me the other day, yeah, I expected it from your brother, but not from you. And I think that's why they're hurt. But addiction definitely runs in my family. My dad's side of the family, everybody was addicted to something. My son was born addicted to methadone because I'm on the methadone clinic. Um, and I, it tore me apart watching him go through withdrawals. Methadone Clinic is helping me stay off the drugs, mm -hmm. but at the same time, like, I'm tied down completely because I have to get up every morning and go there. And it's just, I can't go on vacation, nothing. Well, my dad bought me a mobile home, <laughs> so I have my own home. Um, and they're fixing it all up for me when I'm here. So I plan on going home, um, finishing my community service for diversion. Um, then I think I'm gonna wait a couple months and slowly ease my daughter into coming to live with me. Um, and then hopefully I get her back. That's my main goal. And your life is never the same. Like I struggle with this every day in my life, <laughs> thinking about drugs. And I don't want to. <laughs> I just want to be back to where I was.